Frederick Douglass, former slave, the president, the president. editor of the abolition newspaper, the North Star, was asked to give a speech in 1852 in Rochester on the 4th of July. One third of the population of the South is a Negro race. Ray, 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 Mr. President, Ray, 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 friends and fellow citizens. What? He who could address this audience without a quailing sensation has strong, stronger nerves than I have. I do not remember ever to have appeared as a speaker before an assembly more shrinking, nor with greater distrust of my ability than I do this day. A feeling has crept over me quite unfavorably the exercise of my limited, limited powers of speech. Fellow citizens, pardon me. Allow me to ask, why am I called upon to speak here today? What have I or those I represent to do with your national independence? Are the great principles of political freedom and the natural justice embodied in the Declaration of Independence extended to us? And am I therefore called upon to bring our humble offering to the national altar and to confess the benefits and express devout gratitude for the blessings resulting from your independence to us? Would to God both for your sake and ours that an affirmative answer could be truthfully returned to these questions. Then would my task be right and my burden easy and But such is not the state of the I say it with a sad sense of despair and I am not included within the pale of this glorious anniversary. Your high independence only reveals the immeasurable distance between us. The blessings in which you this day rejoice and not enjoy come. The rich inheritance of justice, liberty, prosperity, and independence bequeathed by your fathers is shared by you, not by me. The sunlight that brought light and healing to you has brought stripes and death to me. It is a success. Rosa Parks decided that she would not give up her seat. To make changes in their lives for the better. I done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Americans everywhere. A rock, a river, a tree. Host to species long since departed. Mark the master. Dinosaur who left dried cocaine. 
tokens of their sojourn here, any broad alarm of their hastening doom is lost in the gloom of dust and ages. To all my fellow citizens of this great nation, with profound gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States.